What is going on guys? This is Jaybird. This is going to be hopefully a brief discussion regarding hacking or cheating in video games using Team Fortress 2 as my primary example. Uh, this is not a video made to expose players or condemn the decisions made by individuals. Firstly, to those of you who have never and know you will never cheat in Team Fortress 2, i.e. aimbot, triggerbot, wall hack, etc., I have this message for you. As a member of a community, which playing the same game as so many other people inherently makes you a part of, I believe it is your job to always assume a player's ability to be legitimate until proven otherwise. Because of its diverse set of movement, class, and loadout possibilities, TF2 has a uniquely high skill ceiling. This creates the opportunity for people who put the time into the game to reach seemingly improbable levels of skill and consistency. But no matter your suspicion of a player's legitimacy, always be conscious of the fact that improbable does not mean impossible, and individuals achieving these levels should not be met with skepticism and doubt, but instead be used as a platform for your own improvement, and the belief that the combination of time, work, and passion can have wonderful and improbable levels of affect on a player's ability. So please, do not be the that kid is hacking guy in chat. Be the nice shot guy, or the you're good enough that although the probability of you hacking is slim and you're very likely just good at this game, I'm going to spectate you just in case and then decide for myself based on evidence I'm able to gather about your legitimacy guy. With that being said, I will try to adjust those individuals in the community who do feel the need to cheat. I know people who have cheated, and I believe there are two main reasons these people choose to do so. Uh, the first is the simplest. Some people crave attention. Their identity is defined by the reactions and attention that can be evoked from the people around them. Simply put, it is just a troll breaking the rules. This isn't the kind of person I feel is worth reaching out to and addressing, because their issues are often rooted far deeper than video games. The second group is the one I'd like to discuss in more depth. These are the people who cheat, not as a means to directly frustrate and antagonize people, but as a compensation for things they feel aren't in their control. It's people like this you find in every level and facet of the game, from public play to the highest divisions of competitive. It's unfortunate, and there's no true justification for cheating to gain an advantage. But I do have empathy for these individuals. We have all been there, anyone who wants to succeed and improve. The frustration of running into someone leaps and bounds ahead of your ability, after you've put hundreds, maybe thousands of hours into this game. I have been there. I know I'm good, and I know there will always be people better than me. But I've had times where I felt that maybe the only way to reach the top was to break the rules. These were always passing moments, and I never seriously considered cheating as an option. I would quit the game if I ever did. But these moments clearly depicted how people who wanted it badly enough and became frustrated enough could so easily seek out a quick fix. To those people, whether you have cheated, are cheating, or think you will cheat, just understand that you are simply feeding into the cycle that led you to this decision. The cycle is, players develop their game, some choose to cheat to reach the next level, good players play those cheaters and hold themselves to unattainable standards, good players cheat to reach that level. The simple, albeit risky option is to cheat. If that's what it takes, why not? But if you really care about the game and the community, or simply respect yourself enough to try and develop legitimately and see what you're capable of, you won't choose the easy route. And the beauty of the cycle is, although it feeds into itself, it needs cheaters to be able to thrive. Choosing to rely on your own ability decreases the number of cheaters new and seasoned players encounter, and that unattainable standard created by breaking the rules becomes more of an anomaly and less of a necessity. Nothing I've said here is directed towards anyone in specific and it is not meant to be a stern condemnation of anyone's decision in a video game. That being said, please do not sell yourself short and contribute to an unfair and incredibly negative impact in our community. The onus is on you to be everything you can be and not stretch beyond that to something created and based on someone else's inability to respect themselves and the community. Cheating and hacking will always be present in Team Fortress 2. That is out of an individual's control. What can be controlled is a culture of respect. Respect for the game, respect for healthy competition with members of your community, and respect for yourself. If that can be the predominant culture in Team Fortress 2, the cycle of cheating can be isolated, and those who choose to desecrate their own potential can be more easily identified. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.